a dash is nothing but transposing the given matrix into rows to columns or columns to rows when you are multiplying the scalar with the matrix you have to multiply to all the elements so multiply 3 to all the elements inside the matrix then you will get 3a so how we will multiply any two matrix first row into first column then first row into second column then first row into third column next move for the second row and later if you have any third row like that Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So here we are at the revision classes or revision session of chapter wise, important question and answer. We are here at the chapter matrices and determinants. So in this session, we are going to discuss what are the important questions may arise from this chapter, especially from one marks and two marks question. Before that, let's see the distribution of marks given or the weightage for this chapter. So here we have question paper contains a five sections, part A, part B, part C, part D, part E, and we have one mark, two mark, three mark, five mark, four and six marks question. From the chapter matrices and determinants, you will be having one one mark question, two mark question one, and two three marks question so total six marks and one six marks question total you will be having weightage of 15 marks from this chapter so let's start with the one mark question so here all the questions which i have collected from previous year question paper so therefore here if a is equal to 1 minus 3 5 6 2 4 find 5 a dash this question is asked in March 2015 and July 2017 that is supplementary paper. Now let's see how to evaluate it. So the transpose of a matrix questions will arise for one mark question and this is an example for that. So here first let us take a dash of this. So what is a dash of this? 1, 6, minus 3, 2, 5, 4. A dash is nothing but transposing the given matrix into rows to columns or columns to rows. Now we have A dash but I need phi A dash. So what is phi A dash? Phi A dash is 5, 30, minus 15, 10, 25, 20. So this is the matrix phi A dash. So for one marks question, just write the direct answers because they will award the marks for answers only. So no need to write the all the steps for one marks question. You can directly write only the answers for one mark question. Next, find x such that 3x47 is symmetric. It is asked in July 2015. We know that symmetric matrix means when you transpose it, the value will be same. So if you take 3x 4, 7 as matrix A. Symmetric means A transpose must be equal to A. So when you transpose also, the matrix will be same. So now we have A here. So if you take A is equal to A transpose, we have 3x47 is equal to transpose this matrix, we will get 3, 4, x7. So comparing equality of two matrices, we can directly write the value of x is 4. So symmetric means the transpose of a matrix and the matrix is same. That is A is equal to A transpose. And by equating the concept of equality of matrices, equating the element, corresponding element inside it, we get x is equal to 4. Next question. Find x if determinant of 4x, x4 is equal to 0. It is asked in March 2016 annual examination. So here the value of the determinant is given as 0. So just find the value of the determinant. So 4 4 is a 16 minus x into x, x square is equal to 0. We get x square is equal to 16. So therefore x is equal to plus or minus 4 is the value of x. Next. So here this question can be solved using an elementary row operation or column operation. So here what I will do, I will write the first column as it is. 
I'll write the second column to new column as C2 minus C1. So 404 minus 400 is 4. 412 minus 408 is again 4. Now we can cross multiply 400 into 4, 1600 minus and 408 into 4 becomes 1632. So when you subtract the value is minus 32. So this is the value of the determinant. Next, if A is equal to 2, 4, 3, minus 1, 4, 0, show that A dash whole dash is equal to A. So here we need to find out the double transpose of a given matrix. So here we have 2, 4, 3, minus 1, 4, 0. So if you transpose this matrix, then we have A dash in the form of 2, 3, 4, 4, minus 1, 0. Again transposing this, we get 2, 4, 3, minus 1, 4, 0. So this is nothing but A, hence it is proved. When you transpose the same matrix two times, you will get back the same matrix. Next, if A is equal to 1, minus 2, 3, 4, then find 3A. So when you are multiplying the scalar with the matrix, you have to multiply to all the elements. So multiply 3 to all the elements inside the matrix, then you will get 3A. 3 1s are 3, minus 6, 3 3s are 9. 12, 3, 4s are 12. So this is the matrix 3A which was asked in last year paper that is 2020. So these type of questions that is the operations on matrices and transpose of a matrices questions will arise for 1 marks and simple evaluation of determinants may get you for 1 marks. So next we will move on for the 2 marks question. In 2 marks question you can expect more on Kramer's rule. So that is solving linear equation by Kramer's rule arises for 2 marks. So here this we have a question solve using Kramer's rule 3x plus 4y is equal to 7, 7x minus y is equal to 6. It was asked in the annual examination March 2015 and 2018. So these type of question may arise for 2 marks question in your examination. So what you will do for Kramer's rule? We will write the coefficients of x and y as delta. So here we have 3 and 4, 7 and 1. So then we will write it in the form of a delta. We will solve it 3, 1s are 3 minus 7, 4s are 28. So we will get the value as minus 25. Next we will write delta 1. How we will write delta 1? By replacing the constant with the coefficients of x. What are the constants we have? 7 and 6. So replace 7 and 6 instead of 3 and 7. So 7, 6 with 4, 1. So 7, 1 is a 7 minus 6, 4 is a 24. So we will get the value as minus 17. Next we will find out delta 2. Delta 2 will be replacing 4 and 1 with the coefficients or the constant 7 and 6. So write 3, 7, the coefficients of x as it is, replace coefficients of y with 7 and 6. So we get 18 minus 49, which is equal to minus 31. So this is the value. Now, what is the value of x and y now? x is nothing but delta 1 by delta. y is nothing but delta 2 by delta. So therefore, x can be written as minus 17 by minus 25 and y can be written as minus 31 by minus 25. So that is x is equal to 17 by 25 and y is equal to 31 by 25. So this is the value of x and y obtained by Kramer's rule. Very important question which you may expect. Next, so along with the questions of Kramer's rule, you may get two marks from the multiplication of matrices or product of matrices. So let's see those type of questions. If 2 minus 1, 3, 1 and x, y is equal to 10, 2, find x and y. 
So multiplying means multiplying rows into columns. So first row into first column. So let's multiply first row into first column. 2 into x is 2x minus 1 into y is minus y. Finished because we have only one column. So therefore here next row we will move on 3 into x is 3x plus y. So this is done is equal to 10 to. So two matrices are equal means their corresponding elements are equal. So therefore we will get 2x minus y is equal to 10. 3x plus y is equal to 2. So solving this we have 5x plus y minus y cancels. We will get it as 12. So therefore we will get x is equal to 12 by 5. Now multiplying it or taking it at one, any one of the equation. We have 2x minus y is equal to 10. So x means 12 by 5 we have. So 24 by 5 minus y is equal to 10. y is equal to 24 by 5 minus 10. So y is equal to minus 26 by 5. So this is the value of y. Next question. If 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 5 and a minus 2 b is equal to 4 2 minus 1 5. So we have two matrices in the form of an equation. We need to find out what is matrix A and matrix B. So this question was asked in March 2017. So let's take 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus 1 2 5. Now for the second equation of matrices, I will multiply with 2. So if I multiply with 2, I will get 2 into a, 2a minus 2 2 is a 4b. So once you have multiplied for the left hand side, you have to multiply for the matrices there also. So 4 2 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4 minus 2, 5 2 is a 10. Now let's subtract it. So minus plus and here we have minus 2a 2a get cancels b plus 4b becomes 5b. So let us subtract 3 8 is minus 5 minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 minus 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 which becomes 0 4 minus 10 is minus 5. So now you have 5b is equal to minus 5 minus 5 0 minus 5. So what happens b? B becomes minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1. Now let's take the first equation. We have 2A plus B. Plus B is minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1 is equal to 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5. Now if I need 2A, I need to subtract 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1. So I will get 2a is equal to 3, 4 here, minus 1 plus 1, 0, minus 2 minus 0, minus 2, 5 minus of minus 1 is 6. So therefore a means divide the whole matrix by the coefficient 2. So it is 2, 0, minus 1, 3. So this is the matrix A and this is matrix B. So solving in the form of a simultaneous linear equation only, we can get the value of the matrices. Next, if A is equal to 2 minus 1, 3, B is equal to 1, 4, 2, find A, B and B, A. So I said multiplication of matrices may get you for 2 marks question. So this is one of the example. So here we have a matrices. So let's take A, B. A, B is equal to, so how we will multiply any two matrix? First row into first column then first row into second column, then first row into third column. Next move for the second row and later if you have any third row like that. So first let's take first row, first column, 2, 1, za 2. Next 2, 4, za h, 2, 2, za 4. Next second column, minus 1 into 1, minus 1, minus 1 into 4, 4, minus 1 into 2, minus 2. 3, 1, za 3, 3, 4, za 12, 3, 2, za 6. So this is the matrix AB. Now let's take BA. So BA we have 1, 4, 2 and here we have 2, minus 1, 3. So first row into first column. So BA. So 1, 2 is 2 plus 
4 ones are 4 minus it becomes 2 threes are 6. So done because you have only one row and one column therefore you will get only one cross one matrix. So which is uh, 6, 8 minus 4, 4. So if you want to know the order here this is the matrix of order 3 cross 1 and 1 cross 3. For A, B, so if you remove 1 as a common factor, you will get a matrix of order 3 cross 3. And here again, it's a matrix of order 1 cross 3 and 3 cross 1. So here 3 is a common factor, obviously you will get a matrix of order 1 cross 1. Next. If A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 1, minus 2, 0 and B is equal to 1, minus 2, 4, 1, 3, 2. Find 2A minus 3B. It was asked in supplementary 2008. It's an example on operation on matrices. So first take 2A then subtract with 3B. So let's find 2A minus 3B. 2A means multiply 2 to A. 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 minus 2 4, 0. So this is 2a. Minus 3b. 3b means multiply 3 to b. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12, 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 2s are 6. Now subtract 4 minus 3, 1. 6 minus of minus 6 plus 6, 12. 2 minus 12 minus 10. 2 minus 3 minus 1, minus 4 minus 9 minus 13, 0 minus 6 minus 6. So this is the new matrix 2A minus 3B. So writing 2A and 3B for 1 marks and solving in form of 2A minus 3B 1 marks, 2 marks question again. Next, if A is equal to 3, 2, 4, 1, prove that A square minus 4, A minus 5, I is equal to 0. Where i is the unit matrix, 0 is the null matrix. It was asked in March 2020 question paper. Now, a square means product of the same matrix. 4 into a means 4 times a. 5i I means i is again a 2 cross 2 square matrix because here we are taking 2 cross 2 matrix. So, first let us write the equation a square minus 4a minus 5i. First write a square. 3, 2, 4, 1 into 3, 2, 4, 1 minus 4 into A, 3, 2, 4, 1 minus 5 into I, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we will multiply 3, 3 is a 9 plus 2, 4 is a 8. First row, first column finished. Next first row, second column. 3, 2 is a 6 plus 2, 1 is a 2. Finished. Next we will move for second row. 4 3s are 12, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 1 1s are 1. Minus 4 3s are 12, 4 2s are 8, 4 4 are 16, 4 1s are 4. And here it becomes 5 0 0 1. Now let's add it. It becomes 17 8 16 9. Here minus 12. 8, 16, 4, minus 5, 0, 0, 5. Let's see now, 17 minus 12 is 5, 5 minus 5, 0. 8 minus 8, 0, minus 0, 0. 16 minus 16, 0, minus 0, 0. 9 minus 4, 5, 5 minus 5, 0. So you got all the elements inside the matrix as 0. So therefore, this is a null matrix which is equal to 0. Hence for one more question you may have a simple transpose matrix or evaluation of a simple determinant. For two marks it will be a Kramer's rule and a question on the operation on matrices. It may be addition, subtraction, multiplication etc. So we will take up three marks and six mark question in our next revision class. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.